Hey guys, it's Fook. I'm actually doing this on Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to uh, my American viewers. Uh, one of the questions I got from, uh, from a gentleman looking at one of my videos on how to shoot a 360 degree uh, panorama using the Samsung Gear 360 to minimize kind of the tripod and everything, uh, the basic setup of doing that, asked the question about removing the, uh, the tripod legs um, after the fact. So this video will show you how to do that. So what do I mean by that? Well, you have to sit your, your uh, Samsung Gear 360 on something to shoot the, uh, the photo. Um, it could be a tripod. It could be just uh, holding it in your hand uh, and then extending your arm upward. Um, but that, that section down below, as you're looking in the 360, is uh, what's referred to as the nadir. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So here's my example photo. This is actually a photo of an area called Chicano Park, which is a park in San Diego that's underneath the bridge that connects um, San Diego to Coronado. And it's uh, decorated with a very beautiful graffiti art. So um, as you can see, this is a full 360. This was taken in very bright conditions, so some of the background is, is washed out. But as you can see, um, it's a full 360. And what we're talking about here, editing out, are these three tiny little legs. So if you watched my uh, setting up video on how to shoot with a Samsung 360, this is as minimized as you'll get without doing anything um, in post-production. And the way that you achieve this is really just to take a uh, tabletop tripod, you know, one of those mini ones, and then you connect a selfie stick to it one that can extend um, into a long pole, you know, maybe four feet, four and a half feet, something like that. Um, because it's a long, skinny pole, it tends to disappear, and all you get uh, are the legs of the uh, tabletop tripod. If you were to use a traditional tripod, this whole section, as you look down, uh, will be kind of occupied by the three legs and the uh, tripod base plate where the camera sits on. It's not very nice. I've done it before, um, and it doesn't it doesn't look great. But uh, a viewer asked if you can even get rid of this, and the answer is yes. You do it by editing the photo in Photoshop after um, you've taken it and doing you know done any other edits that you want. You do need a f a, a free piece of software, uh, basically an actions pack that uh, someone made and load into Photoshop, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but first, the action packs that you need is called Dome Master and is made by an, a gentleman called, uh, named Andrew Hazelden. So what you need to do is go to Google and so just search for Dome Master Photoshop Actions Pack. And then simply download the zip file and unzip it to your Photoshop Actions folder. And if you don't know how to do that, um, Andrew talks about it and uh, you, can, you can Google for, for how to do that. It's pretty easy. So. Let's go ahead and actually do the edit. So here's Photoshop. And if you can see here, I have Andrew's actions uh, loaded, the Dome Master actions. And they're divided into different sections by color that um, does different things. Some of the stuff down here are, are my own, so um, ignore that. So let's go ahead and load that 360. So as you, you may already know, um, the Samsung Gear 360 has two 180 degrees fisheye lens. It then takes those two photos at the same time and stitches it together into this uh, equirectangular format. And this particular format is uh, known as a 2 to 1 equirectangular um, panorama. 2 to 1 because the width is twice as, uh, as long as the height. Okay. There are other formats of uh, panoramas. You can have angular fisheye, you can have you know planetoid type, you, you've seen some of those. But this is what the Samsung Gear produces and it's uh, recognized by Facebook, by Google Photos, which is what I use um, as my default uh, viewer for 360 degree panoramas, only because 
Google Photos is uh, is free. You get a lot of, of nice uh, base storage with a free account, and it's easy to share. Almost anybody can can figure out how to use it and view the 360. So, anyways, when you actually look at your 360 in this two to one format, it kind of looks warped and weird. And the tripod is actually right down here. Now, what we're going to do to edit it out is basically we're going to clone um, the other area of the floor to cover up the tripod. But in this format, it's almost impossible to do because the lines are curved and bent and stretched out. So what we have to do is convert this to another panorama format first, edit it, and then convert it back. And the conversion are done with the, the Dome Master actions that Andrew has provided. Pretty straightforward. So let me actually show you and then uh, you'll get it right away. The first thing to do, and it's very important, is to go ahead and rotate your image 180 degrees. So that top is bottom and bottom is top. And the reason for that is that when you convert uh, this 2 to 1 equirectangular format to the angular fisheye, um, it tends to take whatever is on the top of the image and put it in the center. If you don't do this rotation, um, you're going to find out very quickly that what happens is that your tripod, instead of now being just on one side of the image, it's basically kind of all around the frame. So let me actually show you and, and you'll get what I'm talking about. So step one is to flip it 180 degrees or, or rotate it, I shouldn't say flip it. And then in the blue section, you have this tool right here that says two to one equirectangular to angular fisheye. So you go ahead and click it. And the actions does all the work for you. And it basically converts that format to this angular fisheye, which is kind of a squarish look. And if you look, all the top of the image, the top of the roof that I was shooting, basically, is around in this sphere right here. All right? And there's my tri tiny tri uh, little tripod. It's tiny, but it's, it's still there. Now, if you didn't rotate it, or uh, yeah, didn't rotate it 180 degrees, what happens is that this roof area will have been in the middle here and this floor area with the tripod is then spread all around this circular edge which would have made it impossible to edit even worse than the two to one format okay but now that we have it in this um, format i can zoom in as much as i want and basically using the uh, clone tool i'm just going to do a very quick and dirty one um, clone it out okay so right here and right here. Same on this side. Take this. Remove this leg. And you really can take um, as much time to do this as you want. I'm going to do it relatively quick just so that you get the idea. All right. I think that actually looks pretty decent. So zoom back out. Tripod is gone. And now we've reversed the process. So we want to go back to our two to one from this angular fisheye. And that's what this button in the actions can do. So angular fisheye to two to one. Okay. Now, once it does it, again, your top is on the bottom and your bottom is on the top. So we have to re-rotate this 100 degrees. So go ahead and do that and then just save it. That's fine for demonstration purposes. So basically, um, the process to get it back is just to reverse all the steps. So let me go over the steps again very quickly while I upload this to Google Photos. Okay. Um, so step one, as this is being uploaded, and it's actually done, um, step one is to rotate this 2 to 1 equirectangular panorama by 180 degrees so that your bottom is at the top. Step two is to use the Dome Master action to convert the two to one equirectangular to an angular fisheye, this guy. Then you want to clone out your tripod leg or nadir as people call it. And once you're done, you reverse the process. You take the angular fisheye, convert it to two to one. Make sure that you then rotate it 180 degrees save it and you're good to go. 
So let's see what the results look like. So here's before. You can actually see the legs on this guy right here on the two to one format. Here's the after, it's gone. Now when I go and actually view this, give Google a little bit of time to load it, um, the image looks the same as before. But the difference is now when I look down, the floor is completely clean. No tripod at all. So pretty straightforward. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I will do what I can to, uh, to answer it for you. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please click like. Thanks guys.